Welcome to the first in the new series on Lions TV, it's Time Hop. Um, today we're going to be looking back at the cut run of 95, one of my favourite eras. Um, with a man himself, Mr Mark Beard. Mark, doing, thanks for joining us. Yeah. Um, so it's 1995, right? it's not 2016. Yeah. Mick McCarthy's a gaffer. Yeah. It's Christmas time, yeah. the FA Cup draw comes out. It's Arsenal at home. Yeah. Talk me through it, what's your feeling? Well first of all, I was hoping to be in the team at the time, I won. And um, around that Christmas period, it's always loads of games as well. So, yeah, a game obviously Boxing Day, which I played in, and then I was dropped for the 28th. Um, New Year's Day, I didn't play. And then, so, going into the Arsenal game, I wasn't selected. I wasn't even on the bench. So, um, obviously, Junior Neil, and then we had the replay at Highbury. So, the Saturday before, we played Sheffield United away. Um, and on the first, I think, somebody did, it might have been uh, Ken Cullen. Um, so he, he said to me, "Don't play right wing." So yeah, I played there. Um, he scored within ten minutes against Sheffield United. So I played really well, got man of the match. Um, so going into the game on Tuesday, I, I had a good chance of playing. Went in Monday, did the prep for the match, and he told me I was playing. Done well Saturday, just do the same again. Um, so obviously coming into the game, I was like full of confidence as well. Yeah. So yeah. packed in, front of a packed in, probably one of the first. I mean, I opened in what ninety, so it's the year before it opened. So it's a big crowd. What was the thing in the dressing room? How would, how would McCarthy approach that? Did he go out to win the game or did he go out to try and you know, contain? Well, I mean, obviously the first game it was, we was at home, so he, he said to go for it. The second game, I agree. I mean, it wasn't no attack or defence policy then. He, he just said just play a normal game. Go out, do what you could do, press them all around the pitch, uh, just be horrible to play against and <laughs> try and win the game. Yeah. And um, we got to a great start. And then we just held on really until Mark met him on the counter, Mark Kennedy last minute as well. Yeah, so. yeah, so I stopped there that night. Ten minutes in, tenth, eleven minutes? Eleven, I think. Eleventh minute. You dream you have had your dream already playing, you think you just do your best. Ball comes across. Talk us through the goal we remember about you stuck one past England's number one. Yeah, I remember I think Van Blur got at the halfway line. Um, and he's a good player. Good, really good left foot. So yeah, my old man used to ram him, but I've seen a lot of old clips, nice. and he's had a good left foot. Yeah, the amount of goals he created, yeah. great left foot, good cross of the ball. So whenever he used to cross it, you know you have to be in the box because he was nine times out of ten hit someone. So he's gone running his side anyway. Done a little one two with Mark Kennedy, and then I've had a look, and um, the Arsenal defenders got dragged to the ball. Um, Winterburn was marking me as he was going off. I just crept round the back of him, half expecting it to dink it over, but he didn't. He's played it along the floor. And I've gone running in, and then it's just one v one receiving. And at the time, if you look, I actually dived in to score. I didn't have to, but I don't know if it's a confidence thing. But I didn't want it to be one of them where I'm like five yards out, open goal sort of thing, and then shoot, and it goes over the bar. So I've literally dived in to get to get any part of my body on it, really, um, just so I could try and make it and get it in. And luckily, it went in. You know what I mean? I watched, I watched it again this morning just to do my own work. But I was, the, the Shearer celebration, did you feel it was planned or you just thought, oh, mate, just lost your head? I don't score many goals, I just run away. I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Run straight into Alex Ray. Yeah, I ran into Alex Ray and Kennedy jumped at me and I still couldn't believe it. Kennedy, I don't know if you remember, if you see it on the replay, he points up to the big screen, they had a big screen at Highbury to watch the replay. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to see that. And then I watched it again and I still, it still didn't sink in. Yeah. Being a Mill fan, I always watched it and I thought, oh, that's Kennedy. And then I watched it again and I still, it still didn't sink in. Being a Mill fan, all my family, I must have, I must have sold about 100 tickets at that alone. Yeah. So, and then, one thing I would have loved to have seen was as I was going back, I was trying to look from the fans, it was like 6,000 mil order, it was like, I couldn't yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah. So, it was, uh, was it behind the goal, wasn't it, the old, the yeah. old uh, clock end, wasn't it? But, yeah, and I, you know, for the next probably 80 minutes, you're just buzzing and adrenaline. And the mm -hmm. fact that it scored, second thing. Can you even sort of remember the next sort of 10 minutes, or is it a little bit of a bit quiet? Well, I remember the next couple of things I did was really good. I think I got a ball from a fry turn, and I was just buzzing, so I think I took about four plays. <laughs> But the actual TV cameras at the time, they weren't filming me. They was filming Mick McCarthy and Ben Thatcher. And all you can read Ben Thatcher, you can read his lips. He's going, go on chicken, go on chicken, my son. That was my nickname, chicken legs. So, <laughs> and all this, so he didn't he couldn't even catch my run. I'm not the big one. Took it round and up. I was like messy for a minute. And uh, they didn't even fucking film me. <laughs> we, well, we were to say, you've only got your worth for that. But we obviously yeah. like your, your meal. So you've got in half time. You won the up against Arsenal. I mean, an Arsenal then, well, like Arsenal now, they were, they were probably bigger. They were probably bigger than Chelsea then, wouldn't they? I'd say. Oh, much bigger. Yeah. yeah. And I think they sort of back off like winning the titles and that the, the back four, well, the keeper Seaman, yeah. Winterburn, Dixon, um, Adams, Keown, Bowl, that back five, whatever you call it, whoever played, they're just seriously good defenders. You know what I mean? But 
um, and obviously I did yeah, right up the other end, players yeah. like Mercer and Kevin Campbell, and that, that was a good team. Yeah, that was a blinding team. So what's, we've got in at half time, what's, what's, do you remember what the gaffer said to you then? Just, just, same just again, all the same, same yeah. again, yeah, just keep, uh, keep my press, keep working them, just defend your life. And, I know they had loads of chances, but so did we. I, I should have scored a second one. It was on my left foot. Don't you have rings? Yeah, it was, yeah, it was easier probably than the first one because uh, I remember Dorsey crossed it in. Um, someone's gone to shoot, it might have been Dave Mitchell. As he's gone to shoot, it's gone through his legs and it's just come to me. But my first touch was shit, hit my right foot and went on my left. And my left foot like my wooden leg, so I just. Wooden chicken leg. And, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it was a, oh mate, it was bad. But like see Seaman set himself down, it was just an on to just to stroke it in the net, but it just like bobbled wide in the post and yeah. um, if that had been two nil then it would have killed the game. Yeah, we wouldn't have made this enjoyable but I'm gonna get on to now that the actual second goal. I was even I mean, I remember like they pressed us a bit and I was one of the most nervous supporters ever then, so I was like fourteen years old, really thought we could jump and win everything. Well, it didn't seem under that much pressure really from them, not Yeah, a lot of extra corners and that. And they cut the crosses in, but nothing. Adams missed a good chance, Brian yeah. missed a good chance, and then we didn't want to break. We went from one of their corners here, and then uh, Mark Kennedy, 1v1 one one with Adams, he just knocked it past him, and Adams just jogged him, didn't he? He didn't yeah. quite get there. Yeah, yeah. And he said, it's an unbelievable strike to right. our corners. Great right. strike. Um, but at the end, where all the Millwall fans were, yeah, oh. uh, for me, that's in my top three Millwall, Millwall days. Oh, it's it's unbelievable. unbelievable. It was fantastic. Um, Great celebration from Kennedy as well. Now, yeah. I've never, I've, I remember everything about my day. I, I mean, from my purpose, I had to go to school, and then I, my brother took me to the game. And I stayed at his house in Brixton at the time, so I was 14. I had to go to school the next day, so that's probably we were, uh, What did you do after the game? Well, was there a pop? What was it? Uh, was no, it no, no, we, honestly, we were just completely knackered, and um, Nick gave us a day off the next day. Um, I'd imagine a few of the older ones, but like Alex Ray and Ryan Jose was there. It was probably the Jim Palace on the old Kent Road, but I, I, personally I didn't go out. I, I went home with a coach, met my family, went back, and I think just went to bed. I just remember the next day, I didn't realise how big it was. So I, was yeah. um, I went to visit my old girlfriend in um, Putney, she used to live. Um, so I was on the train, and on the back page of, you this is like a rush hour, back page of every paper, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's me running off. And there's a couple of young kids from schools, like when I turned up at uh, Wimbledon, got Wimbledon Station, and I was going to the underground, and like uh, a few lads would come up to me, and I'm like, you're the boys going last night. And I wasn't in Millwall gear or nothing like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just like, so like, it was on the back page of the Mail, the Sun, the Star, the Baby Sport, I was on the back page of every paper. So every, <laughs> and I didn't know what to do, I didn't know how to take it, because it had never happened to me before. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Um, and that, that's when you realised how big a result it was. Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? So, we've knocked Arsenal out of London club in the Premier League. The draw goes in for the next round, you're thinking, we'll get Oldham away, I'm saying now, if we can draw Chelsea at home.